Hey guys, I'd like to welcome you to Evangel's Midweek Connection. Uh, before we get into our special guests this week, uh, Matt and Kristen Warnell and family, we just want to remind you that uh, we are still collecting uh, lunch items for Hope Cottage. You can make those drop-offs from Tuesday until Thursday from 9 a.m. till 3 p.m. So be sure just to contact to make sure somebody's available, but you can drop that off at the office. We hope you're all doing well during this time. And uh, before we get into it, let's turn it over to Matt and Elijah for a little bit of insight. Hey guys, it's uh, Matt and Elijah here in Elijah's play tent. And because uh, this is where he wanted to do the video. So, so let's start off with um, asking Elijah, how have you been uh, managing through, through the whole uh, coronavirus uh, pandemic. How, how, how have you how have you been how have you been getting through that? Um, I I tried to um, get into a rock, but it was so heavy, and I think somebody hope it fell right down in in the, in the river with it, and it went into the river. The rock went into the river. Yeah. So Matt and Kristen, how have you guys been managing through this season? Well, that was um, Elijah's midweek connection. Uh, we tried to get uh, our youngest son Liam down, but he's too busy playing upstairs. Um, but uh, we just thought we'd start off by um, talking about how have we been managing during this uh, crazy season that we're in. Um, maybe you can start what you're doing in, in mom world. Sure. So not a whole lot has changed. We've just been home, but we've been trying to make it a little bit more exciting because we can't really go anywhere. So we've been having picnics in the backyard. Um, we set up a tent in the backyard so we can play in there during the day. And then we've had some sleepovers out there. Um, and then what else have we been doing? Um, water balloon fights. Oh, water balloon fights. Um, just trying to keep the kids somewhat entertained. And, see, I told you that was going to happen. <laughs> it's okay. That's that's Elijah playing again. <laughs> and uh, it's not going to be a quiet video, so <laughs> we'll just we'll just lay that down right away. Um, yep. So me and me and the boys have been uh, watching a lot of. Uh, survival kind of videos on YouTube and then trying to trying to copy those out in the woods and that's been a lot of fun for both of us um, I made a few bow and arrows so that's been fun um, yeah no I think I think the I'm, I'm, I'm back to work now but I wasn't for about a, a good month I think um, and that was actually kind of nice you know got to um, spend some quality time with with the family and just got a lot of time to to think about stuff and just do things that I never would have had time to do before got a lot of songwriting done and did a little bit of recording so yeah it was it was a, it was a nice little break um, I, th I think uh, we also we also recently started reading you know f um, you know five or six chapters uh, a night together, um, which is something that we never really got to do before together. Anyway, we always just kind of read our own stuff, and but uh, we just felt the Lord kind of tell us to um, get more intentional about uh, doing devotions together. And so that's been that's been such a one of the biggest takeaways from it is just um, kind of uh, brought us closer. What has God been speaking into your heart and life and challenging you with? What would, what, what would it be like if you lived your life as if without a shadow of a doubt you actually believed everything in, in, in his word? Um, you know, because it's one thing to, to believe, but like, like I was just reading Mark, um, Mark 16, uh, starting in okay, verse 17. Uh, these, uh, and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. 
unless they have COVID-19. <laughs> Just see, no, it doesn't actually say that, but um, so 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 just reading a verse like that, you know, um, am am I living like that? Am I um, do I yet have the, the the faith in me to just go and you know lay hands on 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 someone in in the hospital or to go clear out a hospital or anything like that? And honestly, I probably don't. Ha I'm not, probably not there yet. But the encouraging thing is is that the Bible makes it very clear that faith isn't just some abstract thing that you can't grow in. Um, it, it says uh, that faith is, faith is the, what is it, the, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of, of things not seen. So if faith is a substance, what does that mean? It means that it can be, it can be measured and it can be accumulated. So just because you don't have a whole lot of faith right now doesn't mean you have to stay that way. And so I, I took a lot of encouragement in that. And uh, so then my next question was to, the, to God, okay, where do I start? How do I get more faith? And then immediately reminded of, of Romans 10, where it says, um, faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. Um, so it's just... It's just a matter of staying, staying in his book and, and, and filling your mind with the thoughts of God, with how he thinks, because he doesn't think the way that we think, right? Do you have a word you'd like to share with the people watching this video today? You know, it's just that process of renewing, renewing the minds. We're, we're all, we've been, even if you're raised in church like me and, and, and my wife, Kristen, um, on a daily basis, you know, we're conditioned to, to, to really think the way that the world thinks because it's, it's everywhere it's all around us you know you, you go on Facebook and all of a sudden your mind is just filled with all this stuff that isn't of the Lord and um, it affects the way that you think so that's, that's what I think of Sodom Boat in the Bible when it says to be transformed by the renewing of your mind um, you know it's like if I have this cup of coffee let's pretend that the coffee is <laughs> is all is filled with all the all the thoughts of the world all how the world thinks and if I take this, pure, if I take a glass of pure water, which I don't have, but let's just pretend, and I just keep on pouring it in, eventually the water will displace all of the coffee and until all that's left in there is pure water. And I think that's really what it looks like to have a renewed mind. Um, some of you might have heard him. His name is Todd White. He's an evangelist. He has he has something that he said before that really hit me. He said, um, "The mind." And our thoughts were never meant to be unlearned, they were only meant to be renewed. So if we can't unlearn everything we've been taught, but we can replace it with with God's word and how he thinks. And once and that'll actually shift every everything when we realize that okay, the logic of the kingdom is way different than the logic of this earth. I know sometimes praying for people is easier than actually asking for prayer. Is there anything that you guys would like us to pray for? We're expecting we're expecting our third baby um, in August, and uh, the car that we have right now isn't going to cut it. <laughs> so, so if you guys could pray for like a van or something, that'd be awesome. Um, and uh, we're currently living with with uh, Kristen's parents. That, that's been fun, but it's time for our own house. So uh, there's another one too. If you guys want to add that to your prayer list. Matt, I know you live and breathe worship and music. Is there a song on your heart that you would like people to hear? So I've been really digging the... Oh, there's Liam. Maybe you guys will say hi to him. <laughs> so maybe... Uh, yeah, I think you guys would really dig the, the whole album, uh, Bethel's new one called Revivals in the Air. It's an amazing album if you want to just get stirred up. and. Um, but my favorite, I think one of my favorite songs off that album is called uh, Anything is Possible. So if you guys want to listen to that, it's a really good one. It'll get you really stirred up in your faith. And um, yeah, so hope that song blesses you. Hope everything that we said blesses, blesses you. And uh, just be encouraged that I actually, I think that that album is fitting for this time because I do think that revival's in the air. So just take encouragement in that we might be in a tough season right now. But um, yeah. I, I feel like a big, a big move of God is coming. Dada, dada. So.
me. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you guys want to say bye? Bye. Say, say bye. 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 Say bye, everybody. Bless you guys. Can't wait to see you guys again. There is no shadow that has ever overcome your light. And there is no rival that could ever stand against your might. You've always been with us. Every battle you've already won. No, we've already won.